Welcome back. Today's training is on wildland progressive hose lays and you will see six of our firefighter and firefighter paramedics perform those tasks. Progressive hose lay is utilized when we have a wildland or brush incident, a brush fire. It's a dynamic growing incident so we have to put a lot of hose on the ground and the best way to do that is through a progressive hose lay and it's basically just adding more and more hose as it as we progress further and further down uh, the flank of a fire and one of the the progressive hose lay that we use is called the smoky pack um, and that's what you'll see here the recruits are going to be deploying that off of our uh, our type 3 brush engine as uh, they start they pull um, what's called a hose reel and the hose reel comes off first and we attach our first smoky pack to the engine um, as we progress up the mountain or up the hill, uh, spraying water on the fire. The objective here is to anchor the, fi the fire from the engine and uh, pinch it off like a pincer, pincer movement. So basically anchor and flank. And that's what you're seeing here is as they deploy their first pack, that gets deployed and the second pack goes onto the first pack and so forth. And they progress all the way up uh, to, the, to the top of the hill. So one of the things that we teach our firefighters every year is how to deploy a fire shelter. Uh, fire shelter is part of our personal protective equipment and is required to be worn on every wildland fire incident. Uh, and what we do is we train on how to get into this shelter um, so that in the unlikely uh, situation that you are, are caught or overrun by fire, uh, you can deploy the fire shelter to help increase your survivability. One of the unique resources that the West Covina Fire Department can provide is a drone program that we have. And what it does for us on the ground is gives uh, the ground units a bird's eye view of the incident. And specifically in the wildland setting, it allows us to see things that uh, uh, you know, the boots on the ground can't necessarily see. In addition, it also has the ability to provide us uh, infrared capabilities as well.